Oliver? We're rich. <laughs> Mafi, don't I tell you not to come back here, man? Oliver, every night you go to your bed, you should give thanks for having a virgin like me. Locust for the Egyptians, <laughs> Mafi for Oliver. Oliver, I'm going to make you a rich man. You're going to make me into a dead man <laughs> or a convict. How tall is? Mafi, what you looking? A date? This is an important question. How tall is? Five foot eight and three quarter. Perfect. <laughs> Wait. 176, 180 when my belly full. This is unbelievable. Mafi, this is a miracle. What you talking about? You are perfect, Oliver. Perfect for what? Be fed. Like your father. No, 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 no. Be fed was the same weight, height, and build. Who is this be fed? Joseph James. But don't worry about that, man. Ask who is him granduncle. All right. Who is him granduncle? A rich man. Rich? How rich? Filthy rich man. Filthy rich. So why are you so excited? Because I know him personally. So what? All right. As you know, I am still into the private high business. Matthew, Matthew, don't use that word private high to me again. You hear me? I know you had a little bad experience with a lot of sign. A little bad experience? You call a mild concussion, a broke foot, a broke hand, and two fracture finger. A little bad experience? Oliver, there's money in the private type business, you know. But it kind of risky sometimes. Goodbye, Mafi. Take my current assignment, for example. No, no, no. no. You take it. Take it and come out from the yard. <laughs> After all. Oliver. Oh, Oliver, you know when you open the highlight that you look just like Joseph? Look at this picture. Who this? Joseph James. Matthew, this picture look anything like me? You are a dead stampine, except for the face. Matthew, Matthew, <laughs> come out here before I lose my temper, oh, you know. Oliver, let me tell you the full story. This is Joseph James, a working film granduncle, Lazarus James, who is terminally ill. But very rich. Matty, come out. <laughs> Me say come out before I lose my cool. What? Lazarus said that Joseph is an only surviving relative. So? So he uh, commissioned me to locate him. Why? Because I'm going to have a dinner in inheritance. Hmm. So how much money am I paying for all this? Monkey money. So why are you so excited? Ah, that's the question you should ask first. The big money part. All right. I ask. No, answer me. <laughs> you see, you hide them light up when you hear about money. <laughs> come on, come on. I said, come on. Come on. Mister, come on. All come right, on. all right, now come on. 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 Come what are you planning to do with it? I'm planning to leave it to him only surviving relative. Joseph? Joseph. Him granduncle lose track high when the granduncle was in one of them small islands. If him can't find his Joseph, him plan to leave all their money to the post. Post? One dozen posts. <laughs> one dozen rich posts. No, viewing this thing from a religious point of view, mm -hmm. I figure with so much hungry human being around the world, it would be sinful to leave all that money to post. <laughs> hey. Hey. I wonder how they would have spent it. Hmm. I figure we'll be doing humanity a great service by making the post don't get that money. I agree with you. But how you plan to find him? Find who? Joseph. Find him for what? So that he can inherit him inheritance from him, Grand Uncle. All my preliminary investigation indicates that him is nowhere in the island. So how am I must know where to find him? Hmm. That is where your special private guy skill come in. This Joseph must have probably migrate by now. But I have a plan. Uh-huh. Oh, yes. No. Here it comes. <laughs> Mr. James can so well. Therefore? Therefore, he would know the real Joseph from an imitation one. All right. Come, not gonna further. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> you shall disguise yourself as Joseph. 
Matty, I said stop right there, so stop. Just for argument's sake, man, you should have dressed up like Joseph. I would have carried you back and present you as Joseph. When I don't disguise you, Mr. James would know the difference. I am positive. You might just hand over the money, and you might be better off for efforts. Just so. Of course. I would have derived a small benefit too. We? How we come in? It's me if we go get the money to you now. Oliver, stop joking, man. This is serious business. No, Matthew. I couldn't do that. Because I wouldn't be comfortable to know that I am robbing money from a dying man. Robbing money, Oliver? Who wouldn't be robbing no money? Aye, Oliver, Oliver. You'd have prefer the money to lock up in the bank somewhere and do a circulate. Lock up in a bank for buy post feeding. <laughs> Would be helping the economy too, you know. Suppose the man asks me a question when me can't answer. Uh, no big thing about that, man. Mr. James don't see it for this long, long while. Many, many years now. So what else you know about Joseph? Everything that Mr. James know. I make him give me a full brief before I take on the assignment. About too much money you say in Ivory? Whole heap of grands. Grands upon grands. Him said the whole and fortune in the grave. Grands? No, Matthew. Me not into it. <laughs> this must be a criminal offense somewhere along the line. Oliver, you want to push them get the money? <laughs> you say a few grand's well? One hell of a grip. Ula money? Listen, I will teach you all there is to know that in case Mr. James took any question at you. Listen, where my disguise? We'll look about that, man. Don't worry about that. All right. Make we get a try. But, Matthew. Now you're talking. You're sure this thing that won't end me up in a prison? Oh, shame on you, Oliver, man. Or the hospital? Not like that. Or six foot harder? This thing is as safe as a church mouse. Mafi, <laughs> you know sometimes I feel so you're poor, be me. No, I know you. Good news, Mr. James. Good news. Who are you again? Private Eye Mafia Cardosa. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, I'm buying him. Who? Your grandnephew. Who that? Joseph. Oh, my grandnephew, Joseph James. Right. Yes. Live and in living colors. So, so where is? Outside. Good, good, good. Look. You never tell him why it is I wanted to see him, though. No, you tell me not to tell him, so I didn't tell him. Very good. So why it is I want to see him? Your inheritance. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but um, I'm suffering bad, though, Mr. James. You remember me? Yes. Him said him was your favorite grand nephew. That, that is true. Really? Did I tell you that I was a very rich old man? Yes. But I'm in a bad state, though, Mr. James. Um, him do not live now here. So how you find him then? Oh, it's a long road of deciphering clues, asking <laughs> questions, <laughs> following leads, traveling hundreds of miles. Mm. Perseverance, that's my motto. Never give up. You deserve every penny of your fee, Private. <laughs> you know, Private, I, I was in the army too once. Ah. Private eye, Mafia Cardosa. Not private soldier, private eye. So, so where the boy? Him outside. Right. I'll, I'll go and get him. Ah. Uh, but, but, but hold on. You really deserve a fee, you know. But how much was it again? Uh, uh, forget about that, man. Forget about that. Very good, man. You're a very good young man. <laughs> all right. I'll May God's blessings go with you as it go with me. I'll be back in a minute, all right? Very good, man. <laughs> and deserve God's richest blessings. <laughs> 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 